Hi there, welcome back. In this series of videos, we are creating an end-to-end -end application using AI. And we already have front-end, we have back-end, we have database, all work um, throughout like all these layers. We have a bunch of tests that, to make sure that things work. And now I want to uh, properly package this in containers. I want to con containerize our applications, applications such that later it's easier to deploy it to production. And I also want to use a proper uh, database by proper I mean not a file based database something that that we can like something like Postgres right and then um, I'm going to create a new chat and in this chat um, I have a prompt ready that I want to undo so right now we have uh, a uh, front and back end let's put everything together into docker compose and use Postgres there so and then I say yeah like Choose whatever you want to serve in front end, because uh, front end and then will be just a JavaScript file. We need to use, uh, we need to have something to serve it. Uh, as far as I know, people typically use something like Nginx, but here I say, yeah, just use whatever you recommend. So typically, set up, set up is we run something like npm build, so then it packages everything into a single or multiple JavaScript files, and then this is served through some uh, static file server. Nginx is one of them. Um, okay, so now it's uh, analyzing our code base, and um, again, probably it will come up with a plan like before. I want to close all these things. It will uh, come up with a plan. We'll take a look at the plan. We will probably not uh, spend much time reading it. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't even does it ask me to. No, it's it says okay. Like here you go. This is the plan uh, I'm going to follow. Like, um, yeah, you have no choice but accepting it. I guess. <laughs> yeah, here it's different. What I also did is I changed. Uh, uh, maybe I, I don't know if I can open the other window. Um, under the terminal where it executes things, I said, um, "Ask me only for important things." Right. Um, um, maybe when it tries to execute something, I'll show you. But that's the plan. I don't need to confirm anything. I just need to, um, I guess, watch while it's doing these things. So that's what I'll do now. And, oh, yeah, I already see it mentions requirements. I don't like that because I, again, forgot to tell it to check agents. Uh, agent.md so maybe I will finally use this implementation plan to ask it to do it can I do this here somehow uh, make sure to follow instructions instructions in agents md so maybe it will now um Date the plan, or I guess it means I accepted it. I don't know. So because it said, uh, let me proceed with execution mode. Yeah, whatever. So uh, let's just uh, I'll put it on hold and then come back uh, when something interesting happens. Um, okay. I don't know why I need this extension, but. Whatever. Okay, see you soon. Um, so what it's doing right now, it um, yeah, it already created Docker Compose with Docker files, and then it asks me, hey, can I build it? So I figured it out, I can show it right now, because later, I still don't really know how it works, but sometimes like these comments that it runs, they disappear. So I wanted to show you that it actually said, okay, let me, let me build it. And while it's doing that, uh, what we can do, um, it's becoming a, bit, a little bit slow. So maybe we can take a look at... Um, yeah, go away. Well, I guess I have to wait till it processes this. Um, so what I see here is that it created a Postgres database. Uh, then it created backend with Docker file in the backend folder. Makes sense. Uh, then a database URL is, yeah, this one. 
then secret key, okay, I don't know what is that. Then for front end, it uses Nginx. Okay. And then let's take a look at the Docker files. I don't know, things are getting slow right now. And Docker file. So this looks pr pretty reasonable. Um, so it had two steps. In the first one, it installed the dependencies. In the second one, it just copied the dependencies from the previous one. I don't know if it's necessary, but whatever. I guess this is uh, best practices. And then we have, where is the Docker file for front end? Docker file. So we have again build stage and production stage. So for build stage, we run, I don't know what CI means. Uh, it's like install, but I don't know. Install dependencies, okay. And then we do, do build, and then we copy things from these two Nginx, and then we just serve these things with Nginx, and this is the configuration for Nginx. Okay, I will not pretend to understand what's happening here. I will just trust the agent that is doing his best. Now, now let's run everything. And I also saw it created this file. I don't know why, what's the purpose of this file, but yeah, I guess it's useful. So this one, 5432, is uh, the Postgres port. So it's so that it's running. Uh, so this one, port 80, is our Nginx. Okay, things are running. So it actually wanna, wants to uh, test things. Okay, execute. So I wanna run, what? Of course it doesn't copy tests, uh, why it wants to run tests? Okay, well, if it wants, why not? I can just let it do this. So typically you don't really run tests inside Docker, but it makes sense because we wanna, in this particular case, we wanna test the connection between our backend and Postgres that everything works. I guess that's why it's doing that thing. Okay, so we add things to Git. Let me accept this thing. And uh, I think it's, uh, if I run Docker PS, I think it's still working, right? So I think it's, I still should be able to uh, execute it, uh, to connect to it, right? Unless it decides to stop it. So let me try doing this. It's port 80. No, 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 80. Okay. So this is, it's running inside um, uh, Nginx now. So uh, was it Alice password, password one, two, three. No, I don't want to remember this. Uh, let me just play the game. Oops. So I'll, yeah, I think now I can lose. And I want to see this on the leaderboard. Okay. And I wonder if I do, this should still work, right? So now I am probably connected to, um, to the thing that's connected to Postgres. Because I, disconnect earlier right okay so i see these two records so now things work we are connected to postgres mm. and i'll do now docker compose down because it did docker compose up here in this terminal 
but not in this terminal and git status to make sure that there is nothing to commit and this was the last um, thing it edit I don't know why we need this readme file um, but I guess it doesn't hurt so now let me just push things to git and it seems everything is working I'm <laughs> really surprised it just go it's going so smoothly uh, for me it's often not the case I need to figure out things but it just this time it just does what it what I ask and things work from like almost first attempt I don't know to, I guess today is a lucky day mm, so for you maybe when you follow this video and some things don't work as well like as good as on my side this is okay right sometimes the you need to instruct it okay like this thing doesn't work sometimes you need to copy stack traces to the chat application but i must say like they are uh, these agents they become better and better right so it feels really smooth and it just like i tell it what to do and that's what what i ask and then it works right mm. okay um so before we finish, let me actually make sure that uh, I'm already in backend. Make this. I just want to make sure that tests still pass. Okay. For some reasons, they do not. Um, and if I run integration test, if we run pi test uh, test integration. So this work. Okay, so I'll tell it uh, make test in backend doesn't work. Fix it. Um, I don't think it's super interesting for you to watch it. So it will probably fix it. It will commit the code to Git. Um, so yeah, because it's uh, trying to use Postgres um, instead of SQLite, right? So now it will fix it. Because it turned out that uh, both unit tests that I thought the unit tests, they both turned out to be integration tests. So now it will fix it. And uh, yeah, um, I don't think it's, that it's very interesting. Um, so in the in the next video, I want to see how we can deploy this application. So that's what we'll do in the next video. So now everything is working locally. We can just do, okay, okay, okay. So what we can do now is just do Docker Compose app and things work. Um, but uh, now I want to actually deploy it somewhere. Another thing I didn't implement, and this is something you can uh, do yourself. I don't have this application running, but remember one of the things we we have this is following uh, along somebody's plane. I will not implement it here to save some time, but you can implement yourself. You know how to ask AI to do that. So if you want to have some fun, you can do that. Um, I'll finish dealing with this problem and um, see you in the next video.